And so, to cut a very long story short, and you can read it if you want to, um, we decided to found Arosha UK and a project called Arosha Living Waterways, seeking to make the urban desert bloom to combine environmental renewal with community transformation. And we focused our attentions on a piece of land between Southall and Hayes, 90 acres of publicly owned land that was known as the Minette Tip and is now known as the Minette Country Park. It belonged to Hillingdon Council, it still does, <coughs> and we worked with the council to turn that from a derelict site into a country park and nature reserve. And again, it's very much an area that people saw as waste. This is what it looked like uh, 10 years ago. Um, full of burnt out cars. Uh, it had an illegal car boot sale. Uh, lots of illegal fly tipping by businesses who just wanted to escape the landfill tax and dump their rubbish. Illegal motorcycle riding all around it. Basically anybody who, you know, m most people did not go there. You didn't walk your dog there. Uh, you just kept away from the place. And yet, God gave us a vision, we believe, for that site to be redeemed, for the wasteland uh, to become fertile again, both for people and for wildlife. And so we worked with the council, with the local MP and with lots of others to transform that site, uh, to clear away the rubbish involving the local community as much as possible, um, to re-landscape some of it, uh, to plant thousands of trees, uh, and then it was reopened in 2003 as a new country park, 90 acres of New Country Park in West London. And the day before we had the opening ceremony, one of my colleagues was walking around the site and he stumbled across those bee orchids. That's his picture that he took that day. Nobody had ever recorded bee orchids or any orchids on that site as far as we know previously. And it really seemed to us an image of the wasteland being redeemed. Uh, and uh, it's now, it's a great place. It, like any place, it still has problems, uh, but it's a place that the community enjoy. Uh, there was a festival there a couple of weekends ago with about 500 local people there that Arosha organised. Uh, and wildlife enjoys it too. We've got breeding kingfishers. That's one that was caught for bird ringing studies and then released again. Uh, lots of butterflies, lots of wildlife there. And based on that, Arosha does lots of work in the local communities of Hayes and Southall. Um, we do work in schools. Um, we also now have a community food growing project uh, with people from lots of different faith backgrounds, lots of different cultural backgrounds, growing food together. And we found that as a really good basis for interfaith cooperation. Uh, food is something we all share and we all think is very special. And Arosha's vision has spread. So we're now working often in partnership with others in a whole lot of places around the UK with projects in very different contexts, um, some urban, some rural, some suburban.